Hi, my name is Farhan, and I work on the Meta team within Pure One. And we've been working tirelessly to create new machine learning models to help our customers. And today, I am extremely excited to introduce the new version of the Workload Planner tool with a focus on the workload simulation operations within Pure One. So let's dive in. When you land on the Workload Planner page, the first thing you'll notice is our overview star map where you can at a quick glance figure out which arrays you need to focus on with the y-axis showing you the projected load and the x-axis showing you the projected capacity over the next three months and you can pick the next month, six months, or up to a year. The new functionality we just added is for you to be able to simulate changing what's running on these arrays and across your fleet to best utilize the capacity and the performance available. So in this case, I can look at one of my arrays, which is about to run out of capacity. And how do I figure out what to move off? I click on simulate workload. I can see all the volumes running on this array, and I can quickly figure out by sorting on estimated space, which of these volumes is taking up the most space. I can select that volume, and I can actually click on migrate and simulate moving that volume to one of my other two arrays. Here I'll select both of the other arrays in my environment, and by clicking apply, it'll show me what the impact of this movement would be in terms of capacity and load on both my source, as well as both the targets that I selected. So I can pick the best one based on the impact it would have on the load and capacity. And here I can see I should pick the one that's more empty and move it there. Now that's really powerful. But the other thing we realized is the world doesn't always look like what it used to in the past. Oftentimes, you need to accommodate for changes in your environment. You need to support a new number of users. You need to support growth. And how do you simulate those? To help you get to that, we added the ability for you to scale the workloads that are running on the arrays by different amounts. So for instance, if I know that this prod volume corresponds to a workload that I need to support twice the number of users on, I can go in here and simulate scaling that up by 2x, and I can see quickly what the impact would be on both the workload as well as the capacity on this array. And remember, this is keeping track of all the things we did previously as well. And adding all these steps up and the machine learning models in the background are simulating what the impact would look like. I can go in here and select a different subset of the volumes that I know correspond to different workload and scale those by a different amount, say 5x in this case and see again what the impact would be on both capacity and performance. Now that's really powerful. So in this case, we see that after migrating one of the volumes to a different array, I now need to scale certain other volumes to 5x and 2x in this case, and it won't fit. So what can I do? I can then go back and click on simulate hardware and actually simulate changing the underlying hardware that this workload is running on to say an x70 or I can simulate adding a new shelf with 90 terabytes of more capacity and see what the impact would be on projected load and capacity. And I can see the net result of everything I did in the simulation summary, as well as on the star map. We think this is really powerful. I just simulated skin changing workloads up and down across my environment based on things I need to accommodate for in the next quarter. I just simulated migrating workloads between different arrays to optimally utilize the capacity and the performance that I have available, as well as upgrading one of my hardwares to a different controller, as well as adding capacity to make sure I can accommodate the changes that I need to in the next quarter. We think this is a radical change in how simple it is to manage your storage, and we're really excited for you to head on over to Pier 1 and give it a shot.